สวัสดีค่ะคือพูดภาษาไทยได้นะคะแต่ว่าถนัดภาษาอังกฤษก็คือจะขออนุญาตพูดในภาษาอังกฤษมันจะได้เล่าได้ดีกว่าแต่เวลาถามนี่ถามภาษาไทยได้นะคะครับ So I started my education with Burmese International School, finished 12th grade there, and did my IB diploma, and then decided to go study hospitality. When I decided to study hospitality, I was against a lot of things. Firstly, I come from a very strict Indian family, where I have my own family business at home, and my dad was insisting on me to stay here and study. Regular business commerce bachelor's degree, but I said I wanted to do something I liked, so I said I wanted to study hospitality. He encouraged me, but at the same time was not happy with sending me. However, I struggled my way through, and I met P1 since grade 10 yes. in RAS, and um, from there I used to get information every day, every day, and show it to my dad, and he finally agreed. After I got the scholarship from Blue Mountains International School, so I left to study there last year in September 2010. When I got there, it was very horrifying. I didn't know where to stand, where to go. There was no other Indian girl around, or even a Thai girl around. I had to room with somebody completely different nationality from me. I had to room with a Vietnamese girl. And being my personality, I always wanted to be with a foreigner or a Thai person or an Indian person. However, with, I thought I would have a lot of problems with my roommate, but it ended up being that we were the only roommate pair that ended up staying together throughout for the six months. And talking about the school, it's a two and a half year program where you get a degree of interna uh, bachelor's of international hotel management and resort management along with a business administration degree from the Australian Association. Um, why I chose hospitality? Firstly, it's the most booming industry in the world. And also, it's, it's an industry where you can just be yourself. You can do whatever you feel like. No one's going to say anything to you, as long as you have a smile on your face. And also, I, oh, I was always curious to know how it functions because I've always stayed in five star hotels throughout my life when I used to travel. So I wanted to know what people do and trust me, it's not as beautiful as it is in the front. <laughs> but you know, the people you meet, the relationships you make are amazing. When I started going to the school, I thought I wouldn't have any friends, but I can confidently say that I've made at least five lifelong friends from the university. And um, over there, being it's a very small school with just about three to four hundred students on campus. You have classes, and you are broken up into groups with practicals and theory. So when you're in theory, you have one-to-one -one attention with every teacher. Whether you need help, you need to ask questions. And regarding the Thai language that um, you had asked earlier. There are a lot of people on campus who cannot even speak proper English. However, teachers are always there to help them. And for students whose English is not clear, there is an extra class called um, Early English as Second Language ESL yeah, no. to help them. And so the program structure is you you doing three months in practicals in food and beverage, and then you do your three months theory, which is management, leadership, accounting and all the different classes, and then you come out for a six month internship, you go back to another three months of practical, and then three months of theory in housekeeping and front office, and then you come out for a six month internship again, and you go back and finish your final year for six months complete theory. Um, there's no holiday except in December for three weeks, but you finish in two and a half years. In Switzerland, you finish after four years. <laughs> so. And um, is the school good? Is it friendly? It's extremely friendly. Being a small school, everybody gets to know everyone. You get close to every single person on campus. And you have, it's a very, very strict school. You have to be dressed like exactly like this every day when you go to classes. If, you're, if your stockings have like marks or you have and earring on, it, you get $10, fine. So the school prepares you so much more difficult than what it is in the hospitality industry. So you're prepared on what you, what you have to do. 
Um, when you're sick, you have everyone to look after you over there. There's nothing to worry about. They give you room service, service till the door. And um, regarding my internship, when I started deciding on what I was gonna do for my internship this six months, I just I was really homesick. So I decided to come home to do my internship, and I got a job at the Oriental Hotel. And I don't regret anything about coming here. It has been the most amazing experience I've ever gotten after my school experience being away from home. To come here and start working, waking up every day at 6 o'clock in the morning, getting into work before 8 o'clock, and finishing in the evening was something my dad was freaked out about. <laughs> he was like, how are you going to do this? However, I've done it. I'm almost done. I have another two weeks to go here, and then I'm back to Australia. Um, about being here and doing your internship, you grow into a completely different person. I started here as a very young girl, I would say, who was scared to do everything. When I came here for an interview with Kun Itipon, the F&B manager, he asked me what I enjoyed doing the most on campus in the food and beverage department. So I said I really enjoyed being a barista, doing, making coffee. So he, he said, all right, so I'll ask you what all you want to do. He put me into the office for three weeks, a month, three weeks to a month. And then I was in the banqueting department for a month and a bit. And then I was put into work Waranda for two weeks when I did breakfast shifts. Now I had another three weeks left and they asked me, where do you want to be? I clearly said banqueting. Don't ask me why. It's very tiring, but I just love it. The people in banqueting are just so amazing. There are so many examples behind Kun Push Home, Kino, Piki, everybody. They've been so nice. They've been, they're just, they know that you're just still a student and anything you do wrong, it's never wrong for them. They will make it right. So, um, I would ad advise that any school in the Laureate group is a good school. It's one of the best schools in the world for hospitality. And there's nothing to worry about, whether it's the language, whether it's the friends, being homesick, there's always somebody. And when you have so many opportunities to go out and work and be, meet new people, the relationships I've made here, I would never want to lose them in my life. So, I would say it's an amazing experience, amazing industry to work in. You're always happy, whatever you do. ครับมีคําถามมั้ยครับอันนี้คือหนึ่งตัวอย่างนะครับเห็นมั้ยครับว่าเด็กปีหนึ่งอายุ 18 ปีเมื่อจบจากโรงเรียนนะครับแล้ว